Hi there, so this is Team Stikers from Digital DNA, and we're chatting to the team from Travel Plan. Hi, guys. How are you doing? Hi. Great for you to be here. Um, tell us a little bit more about Travel Plan and what you're aiming to do. So, uh, I'll give you the background to yep. Travel Plan. Uh, so, it started off myself and my business partner. We go to the High End Cup final every yep. year. One of us books the flights, another books the accommodation, someone else books the car hire. So, we looked at developing a platform which would integrate with Skyscanner and Booking.com and allow us to collaborate and organize the travel. And then what turned out was actually a number of businesses started saying, actually, this could be really useful for us to use. And so when we looked at the business travel market, we realized that actually it's changing. It's a huge market, 1.1 trillion euro, that's really changing. And it's changing from managed travel, where a travel management company books all of the travel, to unmanaged travel, where a traveler or a coordinator can book directly online themselves. And so what we do is we provide um, the ability for people to be able to add in approval systems into the into the travel, into unmanaged travel, so that if someone's going on a trip, uh, what typically happens at the moment is they look up their flights, look up their accommodations, fill out a form, send it off to a manager to get approval, it goes off to someone else to book the travel, and it's really um, inefficient, and the problem is by the time they actually book the flights, they've probably gone up quite a bit by the yeah. time they get approval. Yeah. Um, so we've automated that process. Um, and then on the back end, what we've done is we've actually built in an ability for people to be able to have a live itinerary on their phone, which actually has things like you know, directions to their hotel, information about their flights, um, and also they can coordinate in that so people can see each other's itineraries. Um, if there's a group traveling, and also where there's, um, we have a locate feature, which enables people to identify the business, to identify the location of the traveler in the event of an emergency, yep. and so that they can comply with their duty of care uh, yep. requirements. Um, so so we, we've pitched this, it's actually free yep. to use. Um, we have a number of companies in, I think we, we, our beta phase has already attracted companies with a travel spend of 30 million euro. Um, where we make our money is through affiliate revenue, yep. So um, and we've the potential affiliate revenue from that customers alone, it, the beta customers, is about half a million a year. Uh, okay, so, yeah, yeah. so, so you're you're thinking obviously like the Booking.com, all the all the transactions will be an affiliate. Model yes, there. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So well, Booking.com. Well, we're not as a travel agent. Yeah. <laughs> so what we're doing. It, well, it? we're Booking agnostic. Yeah. So what we're doing yeah. is we're streamlining the whole process. So from the planning, the approval if needed, the managing the booking, and then when you're on the trip. So a lot of our customers have almost described it as an interactive travel wallet. And then the built-in chat, WhatsApp and steroids for business. Yeah. So the ability to have that visibility and the chance for enhanced collaboration between colleagues, even something as simple as like, what time's your flight arriving at? Do you want to jump in a cab together? So that hasn't been an option or available to the business market at the moment. So we're just making it simpler, easier and more intuitive to use. Would that be simpler for like the individual or... You like so the customer is it you said there's a lot of groups and you, know, you work by affiliates is that available for the individual as well yes it is so so we are keeping up the leisure bit so actually the yeah. idea would be you log in with your uh, e your work email address you have your business trips but actually you can log in with your uh, private email address and actually use it for leisure trips as well so yeah the groups that you get uh, their potential customers. Yeah, uh, ab absolutely. And we're talking to sports. Uh, we've been in the World Rugby, for example, for organising. You know, the teams actually travelling around. Uh, that's uh, um, so. There's, there's, there's lots of applications. To it. You know, people talk every time we go in to talk to a business. They start yeah. talking about oh my ski trip, and my uh, yeah. yeah and, and so there are applications on both ends. Our thing is really to get user adoption. We want as many people using this as possible, um, and uh, they'll invite other people in to use it, and, and, and we, we, we grow using, using and that it, model. I think as well, a lot of the business travelers now, a lot of them are doing point-to-point -point travel. Yeah. So why pay a travel management company for something they can easily yeah. book themselves, or the office manager can book themselves? So it's, it's a time saver, and it's also going to cost you less than... Driving outside. efficiencies, absolutely. Yeah. And, and what people tend to do in a lot of companies, even where they have a travel management, companies say they actually end up booking their own because actually they don't want to go because yeah. typically actually 50% of business travelers are now millennials yeah. who've never used yeah. a travel agent in their lives so actually um, they much prefer to go and book their own their own travel and yeah. um, the problem for the company is that they don't get visibility of that until yeah. they submit their expenses where with our system once they actually uh, yes. um, allocate that booking yeah. um, the, 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 the CFO can see that, that even before the expenses are put through. So I'm assuming every single 
uh, exhibitor here is a potential customer. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Well, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. We have yeah. a number of actually. We have uh, one of the sponsors is already uh, one yeah. of our yeah, yeah. is already. Oh, used. You've made a sale already. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Pardon? You've made a sale well, already. Yeah, that's right. Potential, yeah. potential. Yeah, 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 that's yeah, what it's yeah. about. There's a there's a lady that will be here tomorrow judging Jess yeah. from a company called Elmarks, and they do a lot of corporate programs. Okay. okay. Um, nice. Whether whether you're interested in going on an accelerator, which is for like a corporate innovation program. That might not be for you, or it might be for you. But I would say that every single one of her corporate clients that she works with, that with the Elmarks work with, they'd be oh, dead on for that. Excellent. No, no, absolutely. We we, yeah. we, we actually were in an acceleration program yeah. in Dublin in the yeah. NDRC, um, yeah. and. Uh, um, so where we're at in, yeah. in terms of funding, we raised yeah. seed funding at the start awesome. of the year. Yeah. Um, we're also uh, got uh, we're also Enterprise Ireland, yeah. uh, HBSU client of yeah. Enterprise Ireland. Um, so and that's actually the money we, we, we got from that has yeah. helped us. We, we've targeted getting 100 yeah. customers, 100 companies on board from UK and Ireland by the end of this year. At which point we look at Series A investment. Yeah. Um, and actually, it was interesting. We went over to pitch to a number of VCs in the UK yeah. uh, who were Series B, yeah. and actually they asked could we use this ourselves. So actually, they want to be in customers as well. That's um, one of them being Scottish Equity Partners yeah. who, who wow. funded Skyscanner. Yeah. yeah. So. so you're basically proving your business model with the people that will hopefully yeah. invest. That's with right. As well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Thanks ever so much for your time, guys. Yeah, it's been awesome yeah. chatting. Yeah. Enjoy the next two days, and we'll obviously anything we can do to help. Happy days as well. Excellent. So, Thank you very so, much. Thanks. 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 Thanks.